Let's go with some uh, Gloomhaven right now. Let's play some Gloomhaven. Uh, I think we're just gonna load up here. I need to take a sip of this. Yes, you can just feel you get energized here. Let us load up our campaign. <clears throat> and uh, get a little control over what we were doing here. It's been like four days since I last played. Uh, hopefully we do have a bit more people here than we did on Wednesday. Wednesday was really slow with Gloomhaven. Um, okay, so this guy is just, he's trying to kill bosses. Red China Panda. I think we can do that rather quickly. Enhancements. Doesn't matter what we do. And he wants to kill a Sun Demon, so that's what we're going for. Triags! How's the Gloomhaven going, man? How are you doing? With your four-man campaign. Mm. I'm just getting started here. Like, yeah. Playing with four characters. That is... That is hefty going into the game for the first time and playing with four characters. I think... Yeah, because we want to we wanna definitely continue these quests, but we can actually uh, replace next phase here. Uh, we just need to, uh, we need to kill a sun demon with next phase. Plane of elemental power. That could work. Or find the mysterious Jerry root. I think we're gonna go for the plane of elemental power. This one's kind of cool. You're still enjoying Gloomhaven, I hope. Let's see, he's got some stuff. Okay, so Sun Demon, we need Casual White. No, next phase to kill a Sun Demon. Let's go. You are traveling to a small wooded area when you round a bend and find a group of Inox warriors fighting a band of armored hum humans. Looks like the humans are guards. We're gonna help the humans fight off the Inox. Ooh. Okay, we got curse, but we also got reputation. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. Uh, there's a few flame demons in this one. So I don't really have, I think, do we have Trample? I think we want to pick up Trample, maybe. Because it has, actually, I think we're fine. I think we're fine without that. Uh, collect the most money tokens. Sure, casual, Viking can do that. Never leave a hex adjacent to a monster. Let's try that again. <laughs> A red shiny panda. Let's just try and not make him stand next to a monster ever. Uh, kill an undamaged monster. Three shields on the flame demons. Needs to hit a flame demon for six damage. That sounds possible. Probably, probably next phase is gonna... I'm gonna be able to kill a sun demon with him and then we're done. A booming voice fills the crackle before you, the energy. Okay. All right. We got a couple of flame demons here. I'm thinking... Shit, I don't have my spear. Ooh. Sunkeeper and Berserker. Berserker is... Yeah, my favorite close combat dude. Definitely. I really like the Berserker. Sun Keepers is also... Yeah. I like blessing people and give, uh, strengthening people. It just feels like... Yeah. Sun Keeper, I think, is solid. Uh, but Berserker, I think, is a lot of fun playing. Stunning is always good. Love him. Um, okay. 
So we want to kill this dude. Uh, I think we can kill a flame demon with the unstoppable charge. So if I just go early here, I move two, I use the goggles. Ooh, they're both level nine. Shit. Mind thief. Retired quartermaster, yeah. Mind thief is cool. Demolitionist, I haven't played him, you know. Brute is... I like Brute. He's easy to play, but he... Like, he has some cool cards as well. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go and kill a Flame Demon with the uh, Brute. I'll just use my Eli Goggles for that. Sure. Actually... Hmm. The new favorite. Can I... Strengthen someone here. I can't strengthen with this. Now, if I do these two, then I could probably kill someone with skewer. It's gonna be four with pierce. That's also gonna be enough here. Um. Thirty plus kills. <laughs> hmm. Now I feel Mind Thief is. I think Mind Thief is really strong. But the the like the five new guys or Void Warden and Hatchet Hair. I think both of them seem rather strong compared to the other starting characters. So, it wouldn't be, like, too weird if, uh, if that also counts for Red Guard and Demolitionist. I mean, who knows? Um, we want to go before... Before Brute Hair. I have a plan to kind of... Kill... Oh, shit. There's a chance for me to kill... Uh, all of these are burn cards on the top. Damn it. Sorry, I'm struggling a bit here with what to do. Because I want to move these two next to each other. The two flame demons. Then he could kill them with... Uh, With the thing. Uh, I'll use suggestion for this. And you will just... I think this is a shitty start I'm going for here. Okay. We're gonna get an attack for four. That's fine. Yeah, I've heard that he does a lot of things with uh, obstacles. So that's kind of exciting. Um, one, one. I'm just gonna go there. Yeah, I'm not using the top hair. Well, I'm gonna hit the earth demon hair with the top. Hopefully I get both of the... Oh, you played this this morning, yeah? Uh, what do you think? I think, like, it can be a tricky one. Just because of the flame demons in particular. Punch. Yep, we're fine. But like, if this works, uh, dealing with two 
guys immediately here. I'm gonna go for plus ones here. Thank you. That is decent, I think. Now he's gonna do a ranged attack on him. That's fine. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the bow is nice. I I played. I had uh, the Brute and the Beast Tyrant. Have you played? You haven't seen the Beast Tyrant, have you, Trags? Or two minis. Um, no. I had him and the Brute uh, in a two-player game. And, like, Flame Demons, I could not fight them. There was no way to kill Flame Demons for me. If you ever get the Beast Tyrant, or if you have seen him, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, he has a definite problem with uh, Retaliate and Shields, but mostly Retaliate. And uh, then the Brute also wasn't that, isn't that good against Shields. Yeah, so... I just... I had to... S whether it was Retaliate or it was a lot of Shields... I could not do it with those two guys. I was struggling so bad. Um, he does a lot of damage, right? We can do the favorite with plus three. He's gonna push, that's fine. The question here is... Uh, I could do the top here. I kinda wanna kill him. It's tempting to just do these two. <laughs> do the bottom attack here. And then do the follow through. Um, how do I get the ripped from? Yeah, the loot here. Uh, okay. I can do care package. Just move two, maybe? Sure. This card isn't good right now. Uh, now, if I could kill. Yeah. Well, actually, he's. He does a lot of damage to Berserker, but he's always like a he's also a control character basically. There's a lot of stuns going on with him, uh, so he's kind of good at keeping you alive. <laughs> Curse. That seems like an obvious obvious choice here. Uh, he's gonna do. The top attack here, which is an attack for five. And then I'll do... A crushing cold, just to have the... Ooh. Let's try something. <laughs> I get ideas here. Like, I could use the favorite with this attack, and then he could just go and get it back, right? So 38. If I go later than 38, at 39, for example, sure. Probably before him anyways. Then I can move over here, loot, and that's gonna do... <laughs> it's not that it's gonna do a lot of damage, it only does two damage. Um... Mm. 
but I get the favorite up on my hand again, which is something I want. Um, he might as well go. I could I could just do this arm here. He's going to loot. I'm going to do the jump so I get this. Let's say that... Hmm. This is really hard. <laughs> I don't know what cards to use. Let's use these two. Let's use Hook and Chain and Leaping Cleave. Let's go. He's gonna move at 93, so we're good. Like, did you just see how long I it took me to freaking decide how to attack one dude here? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Ah, I should have done the top thing. Uh... Hey, look at this. That actually worked out uh, just the way I wanted it to, right? Uh, you don't need to push. I get to kill someone when ripped from flesh, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will bless myself, by the way. Um, okay. I know there's a few enemies here. This one can be, I think this one can be hard tracks if you don't know what you're running into. I'm not too worried, uh, but like I have some cards I know are going to be pretty amazing like this. With this I'm going to take care of some flame elementals. No trouble at all, you know? Uh, so uh, yeah, this is going to, in the last room, I'm just going to clear the room with this one. Now what we need to remember is that next phase here, need, next phase needs to kill uh, a sun demon. Hmm. Oh, you used to say? Cool. I'm, I usually don't go for whirlwind actually, but I think that's the best card to go for. Um, I don't mind, the push here might be nice. If I use boots, I can do a really big attack. I can move six. I've not taken any damage yet, so I'm kind of okay with doing that. The push with extra range is kind of nice. I can use these two. Yeah, but this is like, yeah, I think this is one of the, if you look at all the quests, regardless of your difficulty, it's a bit harder than a lot of the others, I think. So you're going to be like much closer call uh, on this one than others if you do not change the uh, difficulty. I'm not generating earth, that is 100% sure. Uh... 
let's try these two. This is range five. Might be able to push people into my attack range here. Um, we have dark. Ooh, this is good. Oh shit! The, yeah, this one. I like the top hair. Kind of want to do Master Influencer. But what would I then do for the bottom? I can keep getting this and do Master Influencer, or... Yeah, I'll do a... I know there's... There's no Earth Elementals in the next one, is there? They're all flying, so moving people isn't that good. Dark Magic. I might be able to do the stun, actually. Probably not. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's a hard one. Just, that's a hard one. Definitely. Okay, we're gonna try this. Uh, let's go in. Oh, there are Earth Elementals. They move three and attack for three. That's fine. Move three, attack six. Okay. So this kind of ruins my entrance, I believe, because we really don't want to... Shit. Yeah, we have to move back here. There's no reason to take the attack for six and the attack for three. Yeah, so he's just going to go over here. <laughs> And he's not going to be able to attack either, you know. Shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't go into this. But this is stupid. But they did split up kind of nicely right now. So that's good. Did he? Okay, his movement is three. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, 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 let's go here. Yeah. Oh, that, that scenario is... I blasted through it. I think on my last run with four people, but I had like... So amazing AoE. Uh, yes, we're attacking. Minus two, that's kind of shitty. So this is a bad round, because we only did two damage this round. Um... That's not good. Now. I could be disorienting Barrage here. Attack two of them at least. I mean, you're always going to run out of card strikes. <laughs> because you can negate damage with cards, right? <laughs> So there's not really any other way to die or exhaust. But I'm guessing you meant that you didn't really take that much damage. You just weren't able to do enough damage. Um, fancy hat and disorienting barrage. Let's go. We're going to do that. Um, let's 
Let's go on 34. We'll go do a big attack. Uh, yeah. And you didn't run out of cards because you and because you took damage, right? Okay, okay. We do Master Influencer here. That means we go close. Or... I mean, we go attack with this and then we do freeze the soul as well. I think we do that. I think we do that. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Target all adjacent enemies. He moves three. This is probably okay. Range three. That's fine. Attack for four. This isn't too bad. Yeah, none of this is actually... Now we might kill him. Which is kind of a problem, actually. We're gonna give him the favorite. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go with everything here. Nice. Hmm. Push. Um, no. Nice. Here. Now, this is super irritating, the uh, tracks, but like, did you see I wasn't asked if I wanted to push? I didn't use the favorite, that's why. Cool. Okay. So I wasn't going to push him because I did not use the favorite against him. <laughs> No, I, I love talking Gloomhaven Triags. Do never, do never apologize be, uh, for being active in chat. Mm. Man, I've done... I've done streams for like six hours all alone with no one answering anything I say, you know? <laughs> Having someone active in, in chat is freaking awesome. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh, seeing as I've played it a couple of times, Strikes, I, I look at my party level and my average level uh, to see if I'm, like, on the stronger side or not before deciding what scenarios I do. So when I see that I'm on, like, exactly average level of... Or, well, half of average level is, like, three exactly... I can't be stronger than that. So then I go do like the hardest scenarios. Okay, he's good. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna... Apparently we're... Uh, we're using you uh, up close here now. Okay, we might kill him right now. Uh, not optimal. We're gonna take some hits from the... Okay, the range on these guys is three. No, it's four. One, two, three, four. That means he can hit this area, right? No, he doesn't have flames. We might want to put... So he's going to attack everyone around him, the Sun Demon Elite. That means we might want to put the Brute behind this guy. What does he have now? Uh, he has this. I can do Master Influencer, actually. All right. Uh, so you mean after this scenario? Throw in the Demoli Demolitionist? I, I haven't decided yet, but like... That might be what we're doing. Uh, shit. Uh, do we avoid 
I think we're actually gonna use... Come on, get a plus one, that would be awesome! The Sun Demon Elite is gonna move in my head. Yeah, but this is if I kill a Sun Demon. Uh, the Brute is uh, retiring, tries after this one. But the Sun Demon is in my head gonna go one, two, three. He flies, so he can go over my guys and attack these two people for five each. Uh, if I move him. He's not going to be able to attack, so we're, we are going to move him right now. I like, I'm undecided, Trix, on whether, like, I'm just going to add in the guys I get from retiring. And if I retire someone uh, and do not get a new person, then I'll add in, like, the demolitionist and the red guard. Uh, but I haven't decided yet. I think it's hard. But I, I think we're gonna go... The first two retires, we're gonna go Red Guard and Demolitionist. For the Brute, I was leaning towards the Red Guard to have some kind of tanky element. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna do these two, obviously. He's gonna go and disarm, that's fine. Uh, actually, maybe you disarm? At 67, okay. Hopefully he goes, damn it. I was really hoping he would go between my... Uh, my guy here. Okay, so they're throwing out traps, which is annoying as... Yeah, this is annoying. Okay, he's kind of tanky, okay. Because if he's kind of tanky, then we can use him. Um, what are you doing? I'm gonna go right there. I think we might take some hits. And just, like, allow these three guys to attack us. Yeah, he's gonna be alone on the front lines. Oh shit, the favorite. I just completely forgot about that. I'm standing on top of the favorite. How stupid am I? Really? Oh my god. Okay, this is irritating as. Mm. Okay, let's go here. Hmm. We're gonna go with a big attack. Yeah. We need to start dealing with uh, this dude. Uh, and we can also remove some fire, which is nice. Advantage? Double, maybe? No. Yeah. Because I want to long rest my other two guys. Um, what card do I have left here? Ooh, I have this. So if I can do a, an attack with the top, that would do well. <laughs> um... 
The attack with a curse isn't the worst thing I could do. Go early. Yeah, I think we throw in another curse here. If I'm lucky, he dies. We are long resting these two uh, Inox uh, guys. Target all adjacent enemies. Bastard. Uh, attacking for two. That's awesome. We get to use our shields here. Now! Attack for four. Yeah, we'll just, we'll stun him. Let's do that. Ooh. That means we have dark and the other thing. Not sure why I went a bit back, but sure. Um, yeah, Juggernaut was a bad call. I never need the... Or I rarely need the damage reduction from Juggernaut, which is the reason to take it, I think. Uh, this goes now. Small attacks. There's a lot of shields remaining, so that's not a good thing. That was easy for once, choosing cards, but it's gonna be worse because we're gonna long rest her next. We burned two cards in the first rest there, Master Influencer and Lure of the Void. Nope, nope. My campaign is just, it's a legacy game. So it's basically made to play like once. But of course, it's fun to play it several times, especially when you don't have to set everything up. But yeah, your new start, so like, getting four new characters you can start with is so cool. Um, but you can play Guildmaster Triax. That's like, there you can play uh, whoever you want. Well, you have to unlock them first there as well, but... When you unlock them, you can just play them and play a bunch of scenarios. And you could always just keep playing after you've finished everything, right? If you want to play the same characters. But with a new, fresh campaign, uh, you just start completely over. Okay, let's see. We need to kill these two guys. Ah. Damn it. How do I kill these two guys? Unstoppable. I think I move at 10. I think we're gonna go for this dude. He has two health. I don't really need to do a whole lot. Hmm. If I use the Eli goggles, I'm pretty safe. Where could I go? Oh, this is hard. Every single decision here is hard. Okay, let's go with the, this one and we'll do hook and chain. 
No, we need to move, right? We need to move. Uh, because we want the favorite back up. That means we go early and we do unstoppable charge. Just make sure this guy dies. Okay. Then you can move and you can attack these two guys. Mm, I would move with this one maybe. Then I could heal someone, which is fun. What's the range on the retaliate? Range is two, so I could attack these two. Let's do repeat shot. Sure. Okay. Screw it. <laughs> I'm like I'm, I've been really lucky with the cards on the flame demons here, right? <laughs> they haven't really done anything. Yeah, I don't need to use the goggles here. Hmm, we don't want to take too much gold. I can stand here. Oh, shit. I actually want to heal him. Well, well. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just... That did nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna remove gift. No, that gives an attack, actually. I don't think I need the heal. Let's get rid of that. Man, I have no magic right now. Um, so this is not enough range. Like, this is bad. This is an attack for five. Uh... Yeah, sure. So he's gonna try and kill both of them if he doesn't help. Or, you know what? We'll go 27 because he's gonna move and we'll use the minor mana potion to get the air. Uh, then we can do these two, that's fine. Move four. That seems good. Hey! Hello, Professor. Hope you're doing well today. 26. Do the curse attack. Sure. One, two, three, four. Yes. And we get some coins. We need coins with the Professor. Uh, pretty sure we're going to be able to kill these guys. Well, we got a curse. That's the most important thing. I forgot. I forgot. I know. Damn it. We were, of course, supposed to... Uh... <sighs> okay, let's do this then. That cost us a lot of damage, not using the Mana Potion there. Mm. No, no. I wanted to do... Um, 
Oh, shit. It irritates me that you don't progress uh, some of your Gloomhaven quests with uh, or the personal quests in Jaws. Like I have kill bosses and stuff. So I uh, I felt like, okay, I want to retire uh, the Brute, for example. So basically, we're doing it to retire, retire some characters and maybe get like quests like uh, Hatchet has. Because he has the get enhancements. So first I uh, I started doing uh, the Gloomhaven shit to get uh, the possibility to enhance my guys. And then I was like, okay, I'm kind of close with the Brute now. <laughs> and we're going to be like, oh, we're kind of close with the Void Warden as well. So we're going back to Jaws, hopefully today. But I wanted to at least get the, um, I want to get the uh, more prosperity as well, Professor. Uh, okay, th so that went okay. Uh, we definitely need, should we do the big heal on him now? And do I go in? <laughs> I think we're going to rest before we move into the next one. Yeah, feels like we're resting before the next uh, room. So he's gonna get that gold and jump over here. Uh, you have leaping cleave, one, two, three. You also have boots, so he can jump. <sighs> yeah, Professor, I am. Uh, on one side, I wanna, I wanna kind of save some of the fun, Professor. I I really like to not like. That's the reason why I'm not playing with all four of the new characters, to save some of the fun for later, you know. Uh, so I was also thinking, hmm, maybe maybe we just do the guy who's unlocked, and we uh, do not do the demolitionist and the red guard. Else, demolitionist the red guard. I think we're gonna be going with demolitionist, seeing as Triags says he's a lot of fun. So we'll test him out as well. Um, like, how far do you move? I can move one there, there. We're gonna stand on these three spots, I think, before we move in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shit, I would need to move seven to get over here. That's kind of annoying. Oh, we have the summon ward. <laughs> would be cool to do the set. Are you kidding me? Did I just... Hmm. Uh, I'll give them a blessing. I'm okay with them having one blessing here. So yeah, I... We're leaning towards Demolitionist. To replace Brute. Mm, okay. Collect more money tokens. I think he's doing a good job. I think we want to move in. No! Damn it, I want to move in with this but i also want to do this when i move into the next room uh okay
I'm keeping grab and go. Well, actually, I think that's the one I'm gonna burn here. It's to be able to unlock their special scenario. Whoa. Ah, okay. I have no idea what you're talking about now. <laughs> no idea. Let's move. No, we're gonna. Oh shit. We're gonna wait here. I mean, you should probably just long rest before a new room if it doesn't hurt you too much. Um. That one wrote long resting. Yeah. We're gonna remove grab and go. Which is my favorite uh, card. Jaws unlocked a special scenario. Damn. I wasn't aware there were special scenarios. If you have the Merc. Okay. Okay. So you don't get it unless you have the mercenary in your party? Or would you get it if you then add that mercenary later on? Um, this is good, this is good. All four Jaws characters have them. I'm wondering if they're gonna add in... Shit, Crushing Cold is super strong as well here. I want to do this with Crushing Cold. Um, Gift of the Void is kind of good. Okay, we're gonna uh, yeah, we're gonna remove it. Let's go. Mm, yeah, this isn't this isn't too helpful anymore. Okay, shit. Yeah, but there are there are some special uh, like uh, scenarios for your normal characters as well, Professor. Right? For the brute and stuff, but not in the digital version. But I think there's like there are some class scenarios for them as well. <sighs> I'm tempted to just jump in now and do. Summon the ward. One, two, three, we put out the ward. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try to stand fast this thing. And then we'll move late. Leaping cleave. Hmm. Now someone needs to go down and get a chest over here. I think that's going to be... Yeah, I'm like, I'm wondering if they're gonna, if that's gonna be next, Professor, for the online version, right? I'm guessing they're doing something. I feel this game has, like, there are a few things that are in the base game that they do not have on the digital version. Those scenarios are kind of an add-on, but they can be added on to the digital. And the random scenarios. Right? Yeah, I understand, Professor. I'm wondering if they're gonna add random scenarios at some point. That seems to be like an easy thing to add to the digital version, right? Uh, we want to go in and then we want to throw our uh, axe on someone. Because uh, that's basically what we do. 
we'll go we'll go after everyone else and we'll do this one because he will generate okay cool let's see what happens here uh, we might have to do something i don't like just because we can't go further uh Oh, we don't need to go invisible, I think. Oh, this is kind of perfect, right? Ooh, range four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two... Is this an elite? No. One, two, three... Okay, he's gonna be able to attack here. Let's go. They're making something new, Professor, or what? I don't need to go invisible. I'm getting one attack on me. That's not a problem. They can't attack the ward, right? Because that would have been a waste. Hey! Ah, damn it. He's gonna get attacked so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care. Let's go. Yeah, I'll do this. Sure. Uh, one, two, three. You know something. Tell me. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. We can push this guy away, right? So that he cannot attack me. Don't you like it when things kind of just work out? Yeah, I'm fine. I should have done the double thing, yeah. That's one. That's... Uh... Ah! Oh. This isn't further away from Hatchet. Damn, I want to push him in there. Okay. Uh, pushback of three is cool. Right? Let's just agree on that. That's pretty cool. Poison! <clears throat> I'll take two damage. That's fine. Um, I kind of want to do this. Uh. Now, this would be cool. Uh, the problem is... He's not really standing next to two people. One, two, three. Yeah. He's got a decent chance of killing these two guys. And then I need to bring back Skewer to run down here, right? Um, I could honestly just do these two, right? Attack someone and stun someone. Sure, let's do that. Repeat shot. That would be a little bit of extra damage against him. What about this guy? The Earth Demon here? Hmm. Hopefully... The Void Warden can deal with him, actually. This is range 3. Might want to move, then. Okay, 
Okay, let's try this. Uh, there's no problems here, so I think... Okay, they are not doing anything. These guys are kind of annoying. Ooh, all... Yeah, there's no light, so yeah. Not really... There's no bad things happening here. Now, would have loved uh, to have advantage on this. Don't need it. Oh, shit! Who killed the sun demon in this room? <sighs> okay. Hmm... Bringing this back. Uh, we're gonna go here, heal this guy. He's gonna go for him. It's always the Sun Demon. But the Sun Demon is gonna move, which is kind of annoying. Five damage? Sure. Uh, I could avoid this. Why do I have a... Oh, I'm using goggles. That's why I have advantage. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, you're fine. You can just stand here. And we got this guy. Yes. We're gonna generate some ice for next turn. Uh, I think we're gonna have uh, some good attacks next turn. Oh shit! He's got a shield from his uh, modifier deck. That's fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need two rounds. Um... We're doing this one and this one. We're gonna make him attack people. Then he can do Whirlwind. Move four. Ooh, or Balance Measure. I don't know if it's... I don't know what's in the chest. Now, if I'm lucky, I can get it after using Whirlwind here, right? If I do enough damage, he can run straight over there. Um, yeah, you're just gonna do the loot and run or something. Six, okay. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Did I have to choose both of them there? Yes. That's annoying. <laughs> I only chose the one. Because with some of the skills for the Void Warden does the, the thing, you know. Oh yeah, I can't loot because, yes, of course. Freaking irritating. Huh. <laughs> uh, let's just... Oh, I can't move this turn. Yeah, I'm not getting the chest. I'm not getting the chest, am I? Really? Uh, yeah, 
We're not getting the chest. Yeah, I can burn that. Um, none of these are help out. No. Oh. So we're doing ripped from flesh hair. Uh, can I move three? Yes. Hey, Max. Levitate boots. Oh, yeah, they are random tracks but it's an item design then right hello mags welcome in welcome in and welcome to all the raiders i'm casual viking I'm playing some gloomhaven here right now uh here on my channel we uh, stream a variety of games uh a lot of turn-based tactics games uh some other stuff some building games maybe we're gonna play some civilization tomorrow uh, so that's what we do here, middle-aged gamer, gammer, gammer, <laughs> is a, a dear friend of us here. So uh, let's give him a shout out. What were you playing? Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Mags, Skyrim, S true. I was watching. Are you a stealth archer yet, or have you not fallen into that trap just yet, Mags? You're gonna end up being a stealth archer. I've tried so many times to do like different stuff. Titan! Hello! Yes, the last quest. <laughs> if you try to do everything, in the end, you're gonna kill everything while in stealth with a bow. Because if you try to do everything, one of those things, the way you usually start a fight would be going stealth and picking up a bow, right? Uh, skip ability. Yeah, and, and after a while, just everything just dies while you're stealthy. Do not screw it. Yeah, yeah, we have another attack, so it's fine. Thank you. Okay, let's do a joke. Let's do a joke. That's okay, Titan. We are in the mood for joke like right now. So, did you hear about the vampire who had gotten a new job? Turns out the uh, job sucked more than he did. The job sucked more than he did. I was gonna celebrate. I was gonna be a. S yeah, right. O M G. That's a good joke. Uh. Oh, that made me happy. We have moved on from uh, environmental jokes over to vampire jokes. So that's what we're gonna do for a little while now. Okay, he's done. Sorry, I got sidetracked from uh, the game here. And let's pick up some gold. Oh, could I run through that? <laughs> I looked proud. I am I'm, I'm very proud of that joke. Uh, why does Elton John play the piano? Because he sucks. <laughs> Because he sucks on organs. Um, I don't know what to say to that one, Max. Maybe. As the final demon in sight. <laughs> Thankful that the assault has. <laughs> I didn't. I actually didn't understand it completely. Very in the red but. rock below you rumbles and cracks. <laughs> But I had a, uh, <laughs> a sound alert. I 
felt you deserved anyways. I'm not sure I got it. Or maybe I got it. Like it's one of those... Sucks on organs. <laughs> it's a dick joke. Okay, okay. That... Then I got it. I got that. <laughs> but that would work for like... Anyone. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a dick joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Oh shit. We got. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Gloomhaven because that's a retire. <laughs> All right, announce retirement. So we, ha 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 ha. I, I, well, he's definitely gay. Uh, that is no secret. And why should it be? <laughs> And he's a fantastic musician. We unlock my favorite character, but also we have a few characters I haven't tried. Yeah, I've unlocked the town district thing. That's fine. Ah, new mercenary! <clears throat> Um, small deck size? Ooh, he only has nine, right? No, I think we're gonna... Yeah, let's go with Demolitionist. Triags! Said I should play this guy, so we're gonna name him after Triags. Sure. Create the Mercenary! <clears throat> mm, we're gonna do this because this is easy to do while we do the new quest. New quest. Choose personal quest. Short. Sure. Also, like wormlings. There's a lot of wormlings in uh, in uh, the thing, right? <laughs> wormlings in the jaws of the lion scenarios. Or there was. Um, uh, yes. I like this. This shatter is really cool. Not because it's like insane. But because it's new. Right? I feel... The perks... They could have done more different stuff on the perks. Yeah, let's level up. And attack two with stun, that's okay. Uh, move four, that's good. Plus two attack if people are adjacent to walls. I don't like burn cards on this guy, he only has nine cards. Move three, jump. Uh, okay. Okay. So he does a little bit of... Now we actually have three of the new guys here. Uh, we're not gonna decide just yet. Let's double the value of our next move. Wind up looks cool. This is not a burn. That's fun. Okay, so this is like prepare.
Mm, this is an attack for five at level one. That's cool. Ooh, crushing weight. Yeah, that looks good. I would like to have a decent amount of movement on him because I don't really have any tank. Strengthen if there's an obstacle. That's good. Knock out the support. Looks good. The top as well. I like this one. Hmm, that's cool. I'm gonna do explode for the movement. Fire. I'm not I'm not good at fire though. So okay. Implode. Uh, this isn't too good. Uh, implode. This can be very cool. But I don't know if I have the earth generation for this to be good. The top, I don't really... Attack for four is fine. Appreciated mags. Like, I don't... I'm... This is me guessing what's good, though. Let's make that very clear. I have no idea. Stun and poison one adjacent enemy without any movement. Don't like the bottom here. That's not good enough. I'm guessing we're going to get some uh, generation, yeah. Uh, so the top here is cool. It's fine. Uh, I don't need this card. Okay, so here we have a fire generation, uh, which is an attack for two at range four. It's it's shit. <laughs> what? Okay, we're gonna do that. So, opening a door with this? Is completely insane. Right? You do the last room with this one? Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, it generates both, but yeah. I really like him. Very different. Very different from everyone else, right? Um, I don't like the top air move three. I have the big one. I don't need that. Okay, so if you attack someone for two and you attack hit the same guy again, then it's good. Attack one and loot one. Hmm. Jump two. Okay. This movement may end in a hex containing an obstacle. Okay, so this is kind of cool. This is... Rubble hair looks interesting as well. I... Hmm. The big one is fun. Uh, I don't like this. I feel like we're gonna burn with this one. Can't really burn that much else then. Not with nine cards. Uh, yeah, we're doing rubble because it generates earth, and it looks cool. Move on top. That's good. Uh, <laughs> if the object, <laughs> what? Um, okay. I don't hate this. Generates Earth. Ah, but the problem is the bottom is shit. Okay. Yeah, you would control people. Mm, well, 
like I feel air yeah, titan we I feel we have to try a lump charge even though I don't I just hate the fact that like if the bottom was just move three or move four or something that would be cool um yeah I think we're going for move three with jump is okay but I'll go with this one I want the move four level not gonna do that I need to pick two more cards here what can we use earth on right now fan freaking tastic okay okay we will see I don't want to do the big one. Wind up is kind of cool. I'm fine with not having this. The problem is I don't really use fire here, do I? Oh, I use fire on this one. That's the only place I use fire. This is two attacks, attack for two and one. Mm, it's okay. Push two, middle. Mm. Yeah, the Void Warden is sick. Okay, we're gonna try this. Yeah, Piston Punch uses fire, I know. But... Attack for three with push three. I have more than enough pushes with... Casual Viking. So this isn't that good. In my opinion, the top hair. The bottom is very dependent on. Yeah, it's gonna be good sometimes, but often not. Uh, I would have liked the initiative to be 10 on this card. <laughs> then it would have been better. I would have to play this with the 19 hair ranged attack, which is kind of shitty because this is adjacent. Oh, yeah, can you do that? You can't do that, right? Yeah, we're gonna try this and then we're gonna change it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll remove the minus two. Sure. Complete four boss scenarios. Hmm. Outside of the Jaws of the Lion. Why couldn't they add the bosses in Jaws of the Lion. Why couldn't they be a part of that? Uh, on a trip to a new market, you see uh, something interesting in a Walrath merchant's stall. Okay. Ooh, map. Yes. 20 collective gold. Casual will float this. Easy. Sunken vessel. Cool. Hmm. I yeah yeah they complete four best boss scenarios from the base game. So they're in the game. <laughs> uh. Let's start with Boots of Striding, because that's freaking awesome all the time. Uh, we have 26 gold left. That's fine. I'll do stun... No, not stun powder. Let's do a mana potion. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like, they've kind of tried to make personal quests not progress if you're doing Jaws of the Lion, which they weren't really doing for a lot of the Jaws of the Lion quests already. But why not the bosses? I just, that's... 
Well, I mean, okay. All of the tumors counts as bosses, right? Um, I don't know what we're looking for here. He doesn't have like negative item effect thing, does he? Or the perk that removes that. Uh, that means means I'll go with iron helmet from the start here. It's cheap and it's a good item. Hey, buddy. One enhancement point. Not doing this one. Ripped from flesh. I don't think so. Damn it. I don't want to do this one either. The iron spare? Ooh, I've not heard about that. I like the it's not iron spare like the regular spare that's the one I want for like all of my close combat guys what's up with this I can't I can't enhance anything I want to enhance here Of course, I could do the favorite in addition to new favorite. I like the new favorite, though. Um, spend it on what? What, Titan? I just got... I, I was just allowed to do my second uh, enhancement. We have jump on this. That's what I started with. I think that was fine. Eh, okay. I mean, why not? Why not do a disarm on stopping power? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, shit. We can uh, replace that. That's cool. Oh! Nice. Um... I am buying weighted net. I love weighted net. One of my favorite items. Let's sell the oak charm. But we did get some new ones now, right? Uh, I, the first one I retired, Titan. This was the first one. Okay. Now he has a lot of control now. He has the weighted net. He has stun powder. He has disarm on follow through. Casual is starting to be kind of decent here. I still have no idea what to get with red china pa panda. I have a throwing hammer. I'm throwing in a battle axe. Just because I think it's fun to have a Void Warden with a Battle Axe. Uh, and you're gonna have to wait a little bit, right? Yes. Okay, so we have the Prime Demon here. 5, 10, 12, 6, 3. We are... We are... At 12, that means our average level is 4, divided by 2 is 2. Okay. This should be a treat. Right? Infernal Throne, that's cool. That's what we're going with next here. Um, 
Yeah, that's gonna be... This is one of the missions I feel like I could lose on this one. I don't know where we have our biggest hits from right now. That's dangerous. But yeah, we're gonna go with this. Uh, I'll go get some thing to drink just a hair first and uh, hopefully uh, you if you're watching you can, you can push that follow button or you could uh, go to YouTube and uh, subscribe to me there that would be appreciated I'll be back in uh, a minute or two I'm just getting a drink